I've made custom knives since I was 11. So I've been, I've been a knife maker for decades now, but I, I always had kind of a disconnect between a lot of the knives I built, I knew weren't gonna get used. And I still, I still love making those knives. It's some of the most fun that I have, making a really fancy dagger for somebody or a folding knife. But a lot of those knives don't get used. And I always had people ask me, you know, do you make hunting knives? And I, and I made some hunting knives for people around here, but I just couldn't keep up with the demand for the using knives with the demand I had for my higher end customs. And so I had this dream of starting Montana Knife Company now, probably for the last 10 years, but the timing was just wrong. I had four young kids and, and a lot of stuff going on. So I wanted to start this company, but I, I, wanted, I knew I'd only have one shot to do it right. And this was the year. Um, it just, everything felt like it was, it was aligned. I started Montana Knife Company because I want to, I want to have more people have knives in their hands that were American made, and 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 especially knives that I that I am in, in, am involved in making. Montana Knife Company is a family company. That's why I wanted to start. I wanted to start something that my kids down the road can be involved in. I mean, they're involved now, but maybe down the road they're heavily involved in or running. My custom stuff is a hard thing to teach and pass on to all four kids, and that's really kind of a special skill, but. Montana Knife Company is about American-made craftsmanship. And we have so much stuff being made overseas right now. We saw during the COVID thing that you couldn't get some of the most simple materials at a hardware store because it came from a different country. Uh, you couldn't get parts for a, for a vehicle because it came from a different country. And I think we're over that. Um, these knives are not the cheapest knife on the market. They're not the cheapest knife on the rack, but they're hand built. I mean, they're built, every single knife is built with me touching it. Um, now we have some more automation than I do in my custom stuff. We water jet some things and we have some, uh, some equipment that allows us to do more of a mass run of knives with the grinding, but that's all done here in the U S it's all done here. And I think that's, that's super important to know. And, and I personally hand sharpen every single knife. I also personally go through and inspect every single knife. My kids help me on a bunch of the blades. My business partner helps. And then when we need employees, it's employees that are, you know, younger college kids, or we want to be able to hire some veterans as we get bigger. But it's all about being American made. We are not going to outsource to other countries. And that's part of why we don't have a folding knife right now. We won't build a folding knife until we can figure out how to make an affordable quality folding knife in the US. We do what we do and we're gonna do it well. And if we can't do it well, we're not gonna do it. Montana Knife Company, I mean, it seems to fit. It feels like everybody should have a knife made by a company in Montana. Uh, Montana is known for, you know, people dream their entire lives to come hunt in Montana one time. Uh, Montanans are known to be, you know, ethical, hardworking, respectable people. Uh, you go around the country, and I, I know when I traveled to knife shows all over my, my whole career, when I say oh, I'm from Montana, it's amazing how many people go, oh my gosh, Montana, are you kidding? I wanna go see Yellowstone Park, or I wanna go see Glacier Park, or I wanna come fly fish there or hunt there. My wife's got a horse and we ride, and my kids have steers and cows, and so I feel like here at Montana Knife Company, we're authentic, and that's what it's all about.